Wow, you know, it is amazing. We have watched the destruction of our Constitution since 9-11, just gaining with a rapidity that is so head-spinning, it is amazing. Nothing that is happening in this country should be taken lightly, should be taken at face value, everything should be questioned, but things are getting so obvious that how is it that there are still Americans who are not questioning what is going on here? So now we have Obama, who's going to be fighting media to stop anti-jihad articles? Really? So much for the First Amendment? So much for our Constitution? Gotta fight them over there so we don't fight them over here. We gotta save American tradition and values. Are you kidding? As they destroy them. President Barack Obama has a moral. He's got a moral. He doesn't have a, a moral cell in his body. But he's got a moral responsibility to push back on the nation's journalism community when it is planning to publish anti-jihadi articles. What the hell is an anti-jihadi article anyway? But planning to publish anti-jihadi articles that might cause a jihadi attack against the nation's defense forces. This a quote from White House Press Sec Secretary Ernest. That's his name, Ernest. Ernest? Are you kidding me? Talk about 1984. This is his quote. The president will not now be shy about expressing a view or taking the steps that are necessary to try to advocate for the safety and security of our men and women in uniform. Whenever journalists work may provoke jihadis attack. Who gave him the right to determine what article will cause a jihadi attack and what article will not? Are you kidding me? Americans, wake up, please. This is not a president of a free nation. This is a dictator. And what is really horrifying and appalling and disgusting is to watch how many Americans just submit to this like little children as if their president is daddy and he's going to protect me. Really? He's destroying you and destroying the Constitution. My God. I, 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 I. Don't leave comments telling me not to get upset. I think upset is the appropriate response. The unprecedented reversal of American civil military relations and of the president's duty to protect the First Amendment was pushed by Ernest, Ernest, <laughs> as he tried to excuse the administration's opposition in 2012 to the publication of anti jihadi cartoons by the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Any, any person who thinks that that was about a cartoon, uh, you know. And anybody, all of these people around the world, millions, millions around the world, believing this horseshit, believing that these 40 leaders get together, link arms to support the right of free speech? Really? They are the biggest hypocrites marching for free speech in Paris. Uh, you can read this. Somebody um, tweeted all of you know, facts that clearly illustrate what hypocrites these leaders are. They are psychopathic nut jobs that the people in, in their uh, respective country are allowing them to just destroy their lives. It's, it's so in our face and it's hard to, hard to deal with. Um, yeah, they all get together, link arms, because they really all support the right of free speech. Read some of these tweets. He goes into mostly all of these leaders and shows how they're just complete and utter lying hypocrites. Foreign Minister of Egypt, 
has detained a journalist for 500 days. Uh, foreign Minister of Russia last year jailed a journalist for insulting a government servant. Insulting a government servant. Foreign Minister of Algeria has detained a journalist for 15 months without charge. You, you can go on. It's Tunisia, it's Jordan, it's uh, Bulgaria and Georgia and the Attorney General of the United States, where police in Ferguson have recently detained and assaulted a Washington Post. Numerous, numerous reporters, not just one. Um, and Greece and NATO and none of these people are for free speech. Leaders don't like free speech. I mean, that in itself should be in every adult's brain. No, they are not supporting free speech. They're clamping down on it. Everything that is happening today, you just have to insert the opposite of what these people are doing and what they are saying. And very often what they are saying never matches what they do. When I said earlier what they're saying and doing, just look at the opposite, I meant their photo ops the actions they take to stage for their own citizens and the world's citizens, this should just flip on that light in the brain that tells everybody it is a photo op staged to manipulate the world's people into believing that they're fighting for free speech. <laughs> And our country, oh my God, we've had journalists murdered, Breitbart, Hastings, others. We just recently had a, a fire chief fired for expressing his Christian beliefs. How far is this friggin' uh, political correctness going to go here? How far? Expressing, he wrote a book. He wrote a book. He self published a book expressing his Christian beliefs, and he was fired. Kelvin Cochran, fired on Tuesday by Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed. <laughs> Why? Because of his own private time, Cochran wrote a book expressing his biblical understanding of sexual morality. And it was separated from his work. He, I guess, was a, um, he was holding Bible studies. He was a devout Christian, active in his community, member of the Elizabeth Baptist Church. He serves as a deacon and a teacher, and he wrote and published a book, Who Told You That You Are Naked? And it is a, uh, it was to provide guidance to a men's Bible study group and he was fired. But what is really very frightening here is that he was found to not discriminate um, and the mayor fired him anyway. There was nothing that he did that was beyond just expressing his beliefs as a Christian, and he's fired. This should frighten every American. I, you know, Saudi Arabia, our ally, is flogging a blogger, but delayed the flogging on medical grounds. Saudi Arabia, do we ever come down on Saudi Arabia? No. But Saudi authorities on Friday postponed the second round of public flogging of a blogger convicted of insulting Islam after a doctor concluded that his wounds from the first 50 lashes had not yet healed, so they delayed it a week. Where has where our government done this? The hypocrisy is so disgusting and only getting more in our face that it really is very, very hard to take. And 
the reason why all of this crap is going on is because we the people are allowing it. Our president <laughs> is going to review articles and decide what can be published or not. I don't know about you guys, but this kind of upsets me.